Hello, hello, my friends. What is this? Lisa, the Stamping Zoo is on Wednesday night. That's crazy. <laughs> well, you know what? It's just kind of that slushy week between New Year's or Christmas and New Year's. And uh, last week I took Thursday off and it felt so good. I'm going to take tomorrow off as well. So, hello! You know, I, I there are a few other people that I would like to spend a little time off with than my crafting pals. So, I welcome you here. And I am just taking a moment to pull myself up on the desktop as well as uh, the camera you're seeing right now. So that we can chat should we need to. There I am. Oh, there I am. Now... Jean, I believe it was Jean, shoot, I have two Jean friends, okay, everybody, maybe Jean Hoffman, but Jean, shoot, I think, asked me what my host code was, and then I realized, oh, yeah, I need a new host code, um, so here's the host code, please shop with me, I'll send you a paper hug, that means I'll send you a card, and there will be a minimum, uh, there'll be a f something free, probably free embellishments, from the new January to June catalog with a minimum purchase. And I will put that up shortly, like after this video, okay? Hi, ladies. Hello, ladies. Anne, Anne just stopped by my house. I waved through the window. Uh, that's what we do nowadays. Anne is, though, uh, one of the handful of humans in my pod. So, um, very glad that I've been able to see her a little bit uh, in the past year, or I probably would have lost my marbles. So let's just be honest. And let's, I mean, and really, I'm not bragging. I'm just real close to losing them anyway. So in a good year, right? First of all, I want to welcome you, whether you're returning or brand new. But if you are brand new, please post and let me know where you are watching me from. I love to know about different parts of the country and the world, and you can tell me anything else you want to, want me to know about you, but I, I love to know your location. So let's start off, since Jean Hoffman's on here, let's start off with a beautiful card I got. Now just look at this. I don't think I've ever done this sort of a technique where there's this kind of kaleidoscope paper piecing back behind, um, a, a large die cut. It's obviously a snowflake and then she's even put this piece of the paper in the middle and I love it. Okay? With that let it snow in the corner. I mean, I just love it. And so thank you so much, Jean. I appreciate it. It was beautiful. Uh, it was always nice to get, I, you know, when I come home from work or when I come home from errands or whatever, I always pull up to the mailbox and man, it's been nice. Is that iris folding? What? What are you asking me, Julie? Or are you talking to someone else? Oh, you're asking me about this technique. I don't know what that is. Is that what it's called? I don't know. You tell me. Look, it looks like the papers are just... Oh, Kate, Carla says that too. Okay, I've learned a new technique. Or I learned a new name for a technique. Well, I'm going to check into that. It's beautiful. And then I have this card that came to me earlier than last week, but um, it was just out of my table. I was looking at it every day, and then I realized I hadn't showed it to you guys. This is from my beautiful teammate, Maria. Beautiful card, and she's a beautiful person, too. But look at this. Oh, she's made this in my favorite color. It might be her favorite color, too. But And she also um, she said that she had gotten this stamp set in the closeout sale and I love brightly gleaming in fact after she made this then I pulled it out and made a few more cards some of them very special cards for my family so I, this might still be available oh fun Carla I would love that I can't wait to see what it is um I'm so excited and with our papers it sounds like it'll just be something you can do over and over. That's like what Maria has done on this little banner back behind it. She's taken very thin strips of all different sorts of DSP and stacked them on there. 
And then this is the actual stamp, the stamp with the purple. I love it, Maria. So fun. And uh, anyway, it's just gorgeous. I believe she used Wink of Stella just on the outsides. Really made those ornaments uh, look dimensional, didn't it? Okay, well, I love those cards. They made me happy. And now I learned a new term, iris folding. So there you go. I see some Australians jumping on. I just saw Elizabeth. I see Leslie. Carla is a pro. And you're getting to be quite a pro yourself with the paper crafting, aren't you? <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Jean. And absolutely, I you know I love it when you share because we just need to gather more and more paper crafters into our community. And uh, I do purchase, or I do purchase. <laughs> that was a Freudian slip. I was going to say I sell all of the products I purchase, but yes, I purchase them as well. And uh, so if you're in the United States, I would love it if you would shop with me. And um, besides the products, I also give classes. This is, this is a class. This is a free class though, but I give um, some classes that are for purchase. So please check it out or send me an email or you can even call me on the phone. 208-830-6328. Is that weird or what? Does anybody use the phone for calling anymore? <laughs> well, Kathy Strang called me a couple of times. It was great. So you feel free. I will answer. I promise. All right. And hello, Glenda. Nice to see you coming on. Hello, Donna. It's my New Zealand friend. Oh, New Year's Eve afternoon. You're right. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And there's Donna from Washington. Hi, Judy. Where are you from, Judy? I don't know that I've seen your name pop up before. Or if I have, I um, apologize. <laughs> Like my writing looks crooked, but either you need to adjust your head or I will just adjust this little paper, huh? It's, um, my graphics are really second to none, aren't they? That's Sharpie for you, in case you're wondering. All right, let's get started. Oh my gosh, so many things right now to play with that I almost have a hard time focusing. I went from old to new to new to old to annual catalog. And finally, one thing that I settled on that I think we're going to start with is this stamp set. This stamp set cannot be purchased. <gasps> what? I never, you don't ever want to hear a demonstrator say that, do you? Well, it is because you can earn it. You can earn it in the celebration catalog. So let me get these catalogs out. If you need catalogs, well, let me say it this way. If you don't have a catalog, you need a catalog, right? And if you're in the United States, I would love to send you these catalogs. They're fantastic. They're our newest catalogs. All of the products in here will be going live to customers January 5th, which is very close, very, very close. And uh, they have so far, up to date, they have been very, very popular with demonstrators. So when you are a demonstrator or when you are a discount shopper, it's the same thing, FYI, um, you get to shop up to one month or, or at least a month early. So we have been playing with all of these products and I will let you know a little secret. I can only show you the front of these, of these right now, but in the back of this flyer, there's a great promotion that will be running starting January 5th. And if you sign up um, to be a discount, again, I never know what to call it, right? Because people use the sign up opportunity for different things. But at the heart, we are all discount shoppers. So if you want to sign up to be a discount shopper, what that means is you will get to choose $125 in product for $99 plus tax. You receive free shipping. You receive a free paper pumpkin kit. And you also receive free business materials. You may choose to use those business materials or to not use them. Stampin' Up! doesn't care. They don't care if you go out and get 500 customers or if you only have one customer, which is yourself. They're just happy that you like the products, right? So please think about that as well. I would love to have you on my team. 
We are a small but growing team, and I think that provides a really great opportunity for everyone, or for, for you, if you would like to be part of growing the team and setting the tone. So, all right. Anyway, in these catalogs, in the celebration catalog, you can earn this stamp set with a $100 purchase. So that's $100 of some other supplies. And then this is one of the choices. So there are lots of choices in here where you get something free after you purchase $50 uh, worth of product. And then there are a few that are kind of, I guess, they're deluxe, right? And you can purchase them with $100. This was one that I had to have. Look at this beautiful stamp set. Uh, if I showed you all the blocks that are over here on the left, you would see that this took all of my blocks this size, and I still couldn't couldn't put everything up on blocks. So it's a photopolymer stamp set, and it's a two-step stamp set. I'll show you exactly what that means shortly, but basically, you get to use all of these great detailed images, and then every detailed image has a fill-in image that is a lot like a watercolor stamp, right? So let's see here, which one will show up the best? Drink of the night is Sam Pellegrino. Yes, I am drinking the whole bottle again. You know why, because I live alone. Why do I want to dirty a glass when I can just live, when I can just live like an animal? Um, but it is San Pellegrino, so. <laughs> Kathy, Kathy Sanford says you had to have this also. You love it and you haven't gotten a chance to play with it. I'll tell you a little secret, Kathy. I didn't play with it until about an hour ago. So it's quick on the pickup. Um, let's see here. And hello, Debbie Green. And she always shares. I love it, Debbie. Thank you so much. And she's from southwestern Michigan. I'm assuming you have some snow on the ground, but I don't know. Um, I've never had the pleasure of coming to Michigan, I don't believe. If I did, it was probably for uh, tax class or something. But um, Lansing. I've been to Lansing. Is that in the southwest? Okay, I knew I'd been there. I think I've been there two, two weeks in my life. But it was in the summer, and I'm sure Michigan, there's much more to Michigan than just Lansing. So, um, although it was nice from what I remember. Okay, we're going to use some black. I really want these, um, these images to, like, stand out, which is not shocking for me, right? We're going to use the brights. So tonight, for these cards, we're going to use the Memento Jet Black. And you could use Stays On, too, if you wanted. And then we're going to use Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, and Bermuda Bay. Doesn't get much brighter than that. All right, so we're gonna have some black card bases. And then I want to use, we're gonna stamp on white and oh my gosh, I cut into a piece of Whisper White Thick. It's low, it, the inventory is getting low at the Harden household. Somebody tell me, can we still order Whisper White standard paper? Um, it, not thick? because I know that thick was already run out. I believe the envelopes have already sold out. Maybe we can still get Whisper White standard. Um, but yes, it's it's not that we're not going to have a white cardstock. It's that we are phasing in a new color called, wait for it, basic white. It's basically going to look exactly like this and work exactly like this. The company has tested it, has vetted it fully. It's going to play nicely with uh, all of our other little products, but there's a little switchover period, right? Where I may run out of Whisper White, but I may not be able to buy Basic White. So I'm being very careful with the white. <laughs> In fact, I tried stamping this on vanilla first. Is you know, I, there's, I've got some love for vanilla, but it didn't do the trick. It wasn't bright enough to me. So you know what? You are all worth some Whisper White. Debbie, you asked me, was I there for Stampin' Up! event? No, I was there. I wish this was my work. This is not my work. This is my love. Um, I was there for a tax, <laughs> a tax class. Yes, I know. 
everyone's going to be jealous now. Um, but yes, I was there for a tax class. So, um, at a university, that's all I remember. And I remember it was hot, but yeah, it was okay. All right. So I am going to use our friend, the Stamparatus tonight. We're also going to use... Baby Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. I haven't quite thought of my name yet. I need to think of a name. But, um, you know, I call Cash Tater Tot because he's smaller. And then I call Tango the Big Tato because he's the bigger one. Just only by a couple pounds. But a couple pounds makes a big difference when you only weigh 16 pounds. But I don't think I'm going to call my Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machines that. You know, and the big one's already Wonder Woman. So I'm not quite sure. Let's do this and then you can see how much fun this is. So we're just gonna dig right into the stamping. This is a three and three quarter by five slice of Whisper White. Not to be confused with the slice of pie I've been eating. Um, oh, both are good though, right? Okay, and um, <laughs> hey, tax class, so exciting. When you're in your 20s, everything's exciting, so I'm sure I had fun. Let's take the outline of the butterfly. I want to do three of these in a straight line, and so what better way to do that than with the Stamparatus? Also, I will tell you, they fit very snugly on this um, that's five inches across. They fit very snugly. So I really kind of need the apparatus to um, to get all three of them in and have them spaced. I'm going to do a combination apparatus and acrylic block. It's very interesting. This method's going to be sweeping the nation. I'm not measuring or anything. I just kind of know that I'm going to do a straight line across, and then I'm going to have a sentiment down here, and then I'm going to flick it with <laughs> with a stamp and blend yeah i'm gonna flick it if you don't know what that means just hang around it's gonna get crazy up in here okay i want to pull this up without moving that now i think i want to do yellow seems to be like the lightest of the three colors so i want to break the colors up and the easiest way to just do this is to kind of be like okay do i want pink, yellow, and blue, or do I want blue, yellow, and pink? See, it's just a natural thing. I want I want the pink, yellow, and blue. I, there's no wrong answer, but to me, in my mind, that just looked right. Let's give it a try. We're going to do, I told you this is two-step stamping. We are going to do a combination of first generation and second generation stamping as well. And if all of that is just like weird terminology, stick with me, kid. It's going to be super easy at the end of this. Anne said that, um, Anne, who's on here, said that uh, there's a lot of stamp specific terminology that goes along with this hobby, you know, just like any other hobby or your profession. Um, you get me around again, a bunch of tax accountants and, uh, we speak gibberish or, you know, we refer to a tax code and then make a joke about it. And nobody else really cares about that, but nobody else knows the language either. <laughs> well, we have the same thing with Stampin' Up, don't we? Nobody else knows what a Stamparatus is. <laughs> Oh gosh, I took this off and that was a big mistake. But you know what? It's okay because I'm working with a photopolymer stamp, right? Put that back on. Don't freak out, everyone. Now, I'm going to use the hinges. So we're going to stamp the left and the right because the hinges aren't quite... Well, they aren't spaced properly enough to make it easy to do three in a row, right? So when you slide it over one... It's too close, and when you slide it over two, it's too far, okay? But what we can do is we can go over to this one. Do you see what I'm doing here? This is the beauty of the Stamparatus, right? This, this thing is hinged, 
so you can move your stamps around and you can also turn this over and put stamps on both sides so when you are making multiple cards oh my gosh you can be like a machine okay card making machine now that one but how did that get off i must have stamped let's see here i stamped this before trust me and it worked out great because if you look at the other side of this paper <laughs> I stamped on it. All right, let's check it out. Nope. Maybe I had it a lot closer to the edge or something. Ugh. Let me take a quick look. I was going to be so, look, see? I was going to be so, like, classy and have that all done. It's all right. I cut two pieces of paper. Ask me why. Because things like this just happen, don't they? That's okay. I can still make the um, Daffodil Delight, you know, I can do a really fun, just monochromatic color with that one. So that's pretty cool. Hello, Denise Ray. How are you doing? Thanks for coming on, saying hi to me. I appreciate it. Okay, that is about as close as I can get it. Okay, I love this set. Um, like I said, I just started playing with it like an hour ago. It's very intuitive, very easy to figure out. We have a lot of other stamps like this. Now that, I think, looks like a monarch to me, but then again, it could be any number of butterflies. You know how many, like, thousands of butterflies there are. Um, they used to have, and maybe still do have, at our zoo, an exhibit in the springtime about all sorts of butterflies. That probably happens in a lot of different areas, but oh my gosh, it is so amazing. Oh, I can't believe it. Okay, it's just... All right, well, here's what I'm going to do. Maybe the hinges don't work. That's all right. I'm going to put this one right here. Okay, it's lined up. It's good enough for me. This is the other way we can just use it. That's fine with me. And that color is going to be the Bermuda Bay. All right, so let's, and maybe I, I must have done that on the yellow ones too. And then I forgot already. Like I said, um, only started working with it an hour ago. You thought I would have remembered. Hello, Anne. All right, you get back to your charmed videos. She is, oh, she is talking about her online card class that I posted for January. So if any of you are interested in that, please let me know. We are gonna be using, um, the featured bundle is going to be Snailed It for January. I can't wait, I'm so excited. And um, so with that bundle, you can purchase that as an add-on, but what you get when you um, subscribe to the monthly Charmed Card Kit is you get supplies to make eight different cards to each of four designs. You get some freebie product on top of that. And uh, you get to watch me on a special video in an exclusive Facebook group for, uh, for video tutorials. I send you written tutorial with all sorts of colored pictures. And um, we have giveaways. You can talk to the other stampers in the group. And uh, finally, it's called a charmed card kit because I send out a laser engraved silver charm with uh, some sort of inspirational sentiment that I've chosen. And um, they're high quality, very nice. And the first month that you purchase the charmed card kit, I send you a necklace to go with your charms. So please consider it. You can read more about it over on my website, The Stamping Zoo. Um, or again, you can just call me. We can talk. Okay, so now I just placed the yellow one in the middle there. I think I did all right. This one could have been a smidge over to the left, but you can cut a little sliver of this off if you want. Oh, uh, no whisper white paper available. Not surprising. Three by three envelopes. Well, 
You know what? I have plenty of three by three envelopes, believe it or not. <laughs> three by three is awfully limiting for, you know, I need room to stamp. But I love the three by threes. They come in handy. But thank you for telling me. I guess I don't need to freak out, place an order. Um, that's okay. They're going to get them for us. So they're coming in. All right. Now let me take the inside part of the butterfly. I know that doesn't look like a butterfly, does it? But if you put it right here, that's pretty fun. Doing live show is not that bad as you think it is. Oh, you're posting your fifth video, Amy. Yay! Still not comfortable doing live videos. Uh, <laughs> I want to say, like, you're not comfortable after watching me. I realize I set the bar awfully high, Amy, but... Um, yeah, you'll just have to jump in and try it. You can do it. I'm sure you know you can do it, but okay, now we're going to do second generation stamping. What does that mean? I inked it up. I stamped it once, and now I'm going to use the second generation of the ink on my actual card. That gives us a two-toned image from the same ink, okay? So it's a great way to stretch the colors of your ink. Yeah, I do it a lot. Uh, even though I own every color of ink we have, I still do that a lot. That's kind of playing off as red on the screen, isn't it? But it's a top pink, in case you're wondering. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do the same thing with yellow, yes? So, oh, and what I'm wiping this off on, again, if you don't know this, it's a Simply Chamois, and it's in one of our little clear, clear CD cases. Very affordable, very easy. You just wipe it down. It doesn't come this color. It comes in a beautiful Highland Heather, but that quickly goes away when you start using it, so don't be sad. And you just rinse it out every now and then, or rehydrate it with water if you live in a dry climate like me. And that's it. And it really works great. You can really scrub away on those stamps. Okay, now just the white. Oh, sorry, the yellow. Hello. Daffodil Delight. Apparently, I don't know my colors today. I must be stuck on Whisper White is what I'm stuck on. You know how when, you know, I mean, there's just always a sense of, when there's a sense of scarcity, we freak out. And I don't think I need to tell you, but 2020 was like the year of people hoarding toilet paper, for God's sake. So... And then finally, our Bermuda Bay. And you can see through these. But also, they don't outline perfectly anyway, which is the beauty of the stamp set. Um, they're more like a watercolor. I absolutely love that. I can't wait to use, um, use the Hummingbird. That doesn't show very well, does it? Let's look again. Now that you saw how the butterfly works, now look. So you have this cool leaf with filler, this flower with filler, and hummingbird. Remember the DSP we had not too long ago that was mosaic, something about mosaic? Uh, we had that butter, we had the hummingbird that everyone loved so much. So, um, now we have a hummingbird stamp. Yay. And I'm making all of my cards tonight. Thank you cards because I am in a position to, um, be so grateful for how people treated me for my birthday and Christmas that I have a lot of thanking to do and it's very important. So I, uh, recommend in case you're wondering what you can do with your, all your beautiful card making supplies is... Make a card and send a card. You've got to do it. It's part of the fun. If you don't ever send your cards, you're missing out on one of the most important parts of the fun. Okay, so we've got to thank you so much. Also, you will notice I am stamping not directly onto my grid paper, but I am stamping um, with my paper piercing mat underneath my... Uh, <laughs> underneath... My cardstock. Let me stamp this and then I'll tell you why. I'm using that because 
these stamps are photopolymer. They don't come with a spongy layer. So you kind of have to make that up. Sometimes you have to make it up by putting a spongy layer, a dense piece of sponge underneath them. Um, sometimes it's just fine. It just depends on your stamping style, how, uh, how much pressure you apply, how much ink you apply, things like that. But I just find it gives you a much better image. And I will say, especially with the imaging stamps, like um, anything that's called a distinctive stamp or anything that does shading, I think comes out really like it's meant to be. When you take the time to add a little, um, well, the paper piercing mat underneath it. You can find the paper piercing mat in the annual catalog. I think it's backed by the chamois as well. So... It's very, very cost effective as well. And it's great. Jill, come on, you know now, sometimes I just jump on, don't I? I kind of forgot what day it was too. And then when I was driving into the cul-de-sac, I saw the other, the neighbors were very helpful and they had put out their trash cans <laughs> to let me know it was Wednesday night. So I appreciate that neighbors. Thank you. You have no idea how hard it is for me sometimes. Here's an insert. Oh, someone special is going to get this card. Look at all that whisper white. <laughs> and then, let's see here. Is that all I need? No, I need this. We'll just choose that one. Um, okay, so simple configuration. I'm sorry, no fancy fold tonight. This is three and three quarters by five. This is four by five and a quarter. Okay, just jumped it up a quarter of an inch, and now I need some adhesive. Adhesive of your choice, but of course, we love stamp and seal in this household, or seal plus, or I also really love mono liquid glue. I believe Jen Houston is using mono liquid glue nowadays, but oh, she was a little stinker. It took a long time to get her to use it. So I hope she's learned her lesson by now. All right, but Seal Plus is great too. I'm not dissing on Seal Plus. I think they all have their, they all have their purposes. Okay. I sometimes want to stagger this paper, but right this time I'm feeling like since we stamped in a straight line, I want everything to be symmetrical. You can do whatever you want. I am not going to judge your card making except to tell you that it's beautiful. I know, I like the butterflies too, Darcy. Maybe I'm just dying, you know, it's, we're going into winter or we've been in winter for a while and I'm ready for spring, a regrowth. Okay, and then finally on the black because the bam oh, Ta-ta, look at that. That's so easy. We're gonna embellish it just a tiny, tiny bit. Mm, let's see. I have some new embellishments around here and they're called black, no, matte black dots. They're so cool. They're so fancy. They are in, thank you ladies. I mean, it's just a fun, easy card, right? And of course, you're gonna want this stamp set. And, whoops. Um, you're going to want this stamp set. It was just the remote. It's okay. So um, you get it for free when you purchase $100 of something else. So buy products from the Snail Dip Kit. Buy some new embellishments. Buy some adhesives. And then you get this for free. Or something else if you want. Tomorrow night we're going to work with the other set that is free with a $100 purchase. Does anybody know what that one is? You can tell me if you know. Okay, I am looking for, one of my take your pick tools has gone running away sometime during the holidays. I'm probably gonna find it in a stack of Christmas cards or something, I don't know where it is. But let's just put some of these around. So like I said, these are black matte. Um, they are, let's see. There you go. Absolutely no shine to them. There's two different sizes. You get 
probably 260 160 that's what I said you get 160 you're not gonna run out anytime soon so let's not be stingy right don't be stingy with the embellishments sometimes it really makes the card now I'm typically someone who likes to do these in odd numbers I've been doing three but you know for 2021 I feel like it's gonna be such a feeling of abundance that I should probably do more so but I just do like this one with three this is just an old paper piercer um, that used to be you know it used to be used for paper piercing and what I have here is one of my two take your pick tools and what I really want is the take your pick tool that I have put the other end on I guess I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to get um, with it and just start using that I've used this one so much that I put washi tape on it because this handle get this um, side gets a little loose but that's my tenants okay finally we want to stamp it inside don't we yes we do so let's do we want to stick with the butterflies or do we want to pivot <laughs> I declare 2021 the year of embellishments. Anne Marie Heil says it's so. I can totally get down with that. It's going to be the year of, I don't know, it's going to be like kind of crazy, isn't it? Um, in a good way. That's a really nice, these are big stamps, you guys. These are one thing you always want to look at. Okay. So it tells you a little bit about the stamps right down here, if you can see, like this one says images at 65% and it's two-step stamping. That's why it needed two sheets in here and that's why they're so humongous. I think I wanna put this up in the upper corner and then I can write. Okay, and whoa, what color though? Maybe yellow, because yellow's in the middle, and um, I don't really want to introduce another color. I know. They're just gorgeous. Just sit and look at those and let me make you a flower, friends. I'm going to make you some flowers. Oh, what else I also did to all of these stamps when I took them out of the packaging is that I just rubbed them across the chamois just with clean water on it. I did that because photopolymer stamps... Oh my, look at that. Is that gorgeous? I had to stop what I was talking about. I love it. Okay, um, so anyway, photopolymer stamps usually have um, like a film on them. So when you get them and they're brand new right out of processing, they um, kind of resist the ink. So all I do when I get them, once I block them up, is I just rub them on the chamois. That's it. Uh, you can ink them and give them a try first. You know, that's why I use the grid paper. We want to take a look at that. But, I mean, get out. This is so beautiful. Now, I think that's all I want. I think it really, there is a filler stamp for it. But I like that. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Man, stepping up. You got it going on, girl. We love you. Now, stamping it or celebration's a little bit different this time. It's only for January and February. But the good news is we're gonna have another stampin' up later in the summer. Can you believe that? They're gonna spoil us big time. So get ready for it, because it's gonna happen. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I love it. I hope you do too. I hope you think about getting the Touch of Ink stamp set as your one of your rewards. I say one of your rewards. <laughs> you don't have to stop at purchasing $100. Don't let me stop you. Okay, now let's kind of swing over to some new paper, but the annual catalog, because you might want to know about some other things that are sitting around waiting to be purchased. We don't want to ignore the annual catalog because it's beautiful. Uh, as I said, I need a lot of thank you cards. So uh, there's a thank you sentiment that I really, really like. 
in a stamp set called So Sentimental. This is a bundle. It's in the annual catalog. You can save 10% if you purchase them together. Oh my gosh, I use these dies, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say daily, but weekly for sure. Okay, they're so versatile. Of course, all of these sentiments fit into any one or at least one of these dies. However, they can be used interchangeably. These pieces can be broke apart so easily. And okay, Pam, quick, uh, what do I wanna say? Before I forget to answer your question, I used Daffodil Delight, Bermuda Bay, and Melon Mambo. You can take a screenshot of this if you would like. Sometimes I do that. <laughs> okay, so um, anyway, this is so sentimental and I love this. I can't thank you enough. And no truer words were spoken for uh, what I need to make thank you cards for. So um, we're gonna use that with some new paper. Hold on, I hope you're sitting down. This is gonna take your breath away. I'm kind of glad you can't see me today because I'm very animated because I'm very in love with these things. So this is in one of the Valentine sets. Let me get the name for you. It is Love You Always Specialty Designer Series Paper. May I present to you Sahara Sand. Blushing Bride and Rococo Rose. 12 sheets of these beautiful 12 by 12 papers. You, uh, it's just so gorgeous. So it's, it's um, DSP weight. It's not like a foil, fully foiled. But as you can see, all of the images are foiled. And it's kind of tonal. So this isn't a certain, diff this isn't silver foil. This is like Sahara sand foil, okay? Same thing. Slightly different pattern, but same technique with the Blushing Bride. Look at that. It kind of looks like rose gold. It kind of looks like just Blushing Bride. And then just white on the back, okay? And then finally, we've got this beautiful Rococo Rose. I'm going to work with this tonight. I had to. Had to. So, in order to really let this paper shine, I'm going to do a couple of things. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same color of cardstock as the base of the DSP. That's one of the brilliant things that we love about Stampin' Up, right? Is that it uses a base, uh, it uses the same base colors for all of our products. So it's very easy to find the color of DSP you need, designer series paper, to match your cardstock. Okay, so that's one way I'm going to keep it simple and let it shine. The other way is I'm going to emboss my sentiment and put it up on vellum. This is what I was trying to tell Jen Houston to do this morning. So I'm going to heed my own advice. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, let's rock and roll with this. Now, one thing is you're not going to be able to match the um, embossing folder or the embossing the wet embossing with this particular foiling, right? Because we don't have Rococo Rose embossing ink or embossing powder. I'm sorry, I keep messing that up. Embossing powder. But what we do have that I think will look nice is gold. So let's just do a little embossing here. First of all, I wanna remove our pretty projects. We don't wanna get embossing powder on those and it kind of goes all over. This is how the, this is what I'm talking about since I was trying to be confusing. This is our embossing powder. It's called Stampin' Emboss. It is in the annual catalog towards the back with lots of fun stuff. And tonight we're going to use gold. Okay, this is a tray that's retired for like a bazillion years. I like it. Um, but you can use coffee filters, just paper, whatever you like. Okay, and you also need some Versamark ink. All right, this is a watermarking stamp pad. In addition to using it for embossing, I really recommend it as being like one of the first stamp pads that people will purchase because it gives you a watermark look on any color of ink 
or any color cardstock that you use. So let's see here. Well, let me use the bright so it really stands out. So, and let me use Melon Mambo because you are already familiar with what that looks like. So if you didn't have Melon Mambo ink, but you wanted a tonal look, like what I was doing earlier, you'll just take, I got two, you see I told you I was running out of blocks, right? Okay, so you'll just take the hummingbird, ink it up, this is a, like a spongy, don't mash this in here, okay? What we say is kiss it, don't make out with it. Okay, so there we go. And then if you just stamp this right onto cardstock and let it dry, it's a softer but very similar look to stamping with Melon Mambo on Melon Mambo cardstock. Let me show you the difference. Having, having so much fun with this, let me show you the difference. Um, okay, so I'm just like actually just kind of jumping in and then I see being naughty and having another piece of my cheesecake birthday cake. There's nothing naughty about that. I think it is like mandatory Kathy and happy birthday Kathy. You know, one of my aunt's birthdays is today too, so uh, I will not forget your birthday. But I wrote it down anyway. <laughs> okay, so here is the difference. And much stronger, of course, with Melon Mambo on Melon Mambo. This is also a very uh, intense color anyway. But here it is if you just use the Versamark. So this gives you even more looks, right, uh, with the same stamp. Or, like I said, if you haven't purchased all of the stamps yet, you can still make do with Versamark. All right, so now we're going to use it for its other purpose, which is embossing. I have around here somewhere a little piece of our vellum cardstock. Call it cardstock because it's cardstock weight. It's not flimsy, which makes it beautiful for die cutting. You can see stitching in it and all sorts of details. First, I have to give it a little zhuzh with the embossing buddy. This you cannot find in the catalog right now, but dear Lord, I hope they bring it back. I think everybody probably already has an embossing buddy, but if you don't have it, uh, contact me and I will tell you like what the closest thing is that we can find. Or I might just have an extra one around here that I'll send you. <laughs> Yes. Oh, your grandsons is now Kathy Sheely's grandson. See, there's a lot of people that are the 30th. Wow. That's pretty cool. All right. Where did my thank you go? Thank you. I can't thank you enough. Now, this one is not a photopolymer. This is what we call red rubber. And this is the one that comes with its own spongy insert. So you don't really need to have anything underneath it like the paper piercing mat to get a great image. Hopefully, you just need an adept stamper. <laughs> I'm just gonna stamp it in the middle of this. So we have lots of room to die cut around it. And then I don't know if you can see this, but you get that same or similar watermarked look, right? I can see that I've touched this with Melon Mambo. Oh, that's where it came from. That's okay. Hopefully we're gonna die cut that part off. If not, it might be hidden though with the DSP in the background. Okay, then I still have some of that powder in there. I'm just gonna scoop it up. You let it shake around. I try not to like just flick it off immediately. I wanna let it sit on there and kind of percolate. That's my secret. It probably doesn't make a difference, but Look, it's how I've been doing it for 25, 30 years. I'm not going to stop now. It's my secret. And I'm going to give it to you for free tonight. Okay. All you really want to do is make sure that any loose powder is not close. You can use a paintbrush. I have a pretty fine-tipped paintbrush around here. But I was just being lazy. 
let's just call it what it is. Now you need a heat gun. Hey, guess what? We also sell those. <laughs> Are you sensing a theme here? I am using an older one, but we sold this one at some point in time. <laughs> I like to get it warm enough to where it's a little uncomfortable on my arm. And then, I'm sorry for the sound, but I know you're going to want to watch this come to life. It's so beautiful. Oh, look at that. Give it a final. Don't overdo it. Just let it go until your uh, embossing powder is smooth and shiny all over and you have to make sure you catch all the letters. If you don't heat it up, uh, it just won't set and it will just brush away. So that wouldn't be very good, right? What if it said like, I can't ink you enough? That would not be a very nice thank you card. I think I can do better than that. And we're bringing the baby Butterbean in. Oh, look at this. The baby's gonna get a little workout here. So this is the mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. Is a beautiful stamp or a beautiful price point of sixty dollars, and the plates are about three and three quarters wide, so you cannot use all of our dies and embossing folders on this. But it is very handy for lots of things, like lots of labels, and you know most of the labels die cuts are not more than three and three quarters. So um, I definitely like it when I'm here working with you because it doesn't take up my whole uh, table and I think you can see it a lot better. The mechanics are just the same as the larger Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, okay? The larger size is $120, also a great pr price point, totally worth the money and uh, I just think they're both great. They're both must-haves. Maybe, you know, I've had some people say that they don't have anything, and so they'd like to just kind of dip their toe in the water, so to speak. And that may be a use for this. Um, but it's not a toy. It's a real die cutter. It's not like an easy bake oven, okay? It's a real deal. It's just smaller. I think it's going to be great for play dates, right? Stamping play dates. Okay, so here's what I was saying about this vellum. It's a very good quality vellum. So you can see the stitching that's in that die cut. It's a very pretty. Okay, let me take the baby away. Mini will be available January 5th. You can order it early January 5th, and I would recommend it. I don't have any inside knowledge. I just know that been selling to demonstrators like hotcakes so do yourself a favor don't be sad no I don't want you to be sad miss out on something you might want see now we're gonna get the beauty of all of this paper oh I was gonna be sad you know you have to like I mean of course you want something on it I don't I'm not such a simple stamper that I would just send this but this paper it's killing me it's so gorgeous Okay, we're also going to use some clear embellishments. These are our clear and frosted epoxy drops. I really love them. However, I think they're too silver in this instance. They have a mirrored backing on them, right? So I am going to use the Flowers for Every Season Gems. And I'm not going to use the ones that are just jade. Don't flip out. I know, Mary Ellen, it's beautiful. And if you missed it, you get it in three different colors. 12 sheets. It's gonna be a score. Okay, so I'm gonna use these clear gems out of here because they have no metallic backing on them. I don't even know if you can see that, but they're clear, clear, okay? So I'm gonna to choose to use those. They're not self-adhesive. Uh, they made them that way in particular because you can also use them with shaker cards. But for this thing, I am going to glue them down. So I will use, da, 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 da. maybe I will use my 
ultra fine tip glue pen. No, it's just called fine tip glue pen. I say I may use it because you be very careful with the fine tip glue pen. Sometimes, well, you'll see when we open it. The opening is just so small. It's like a pin. So um, sometimes if you don't use it for a while, it closes up and then you're out of luck. We have other things we can use if that happened. I just, I haven't used it for a while. Okay. My seal is being such a good little adhesive today. Now I also thought it was more impactful if I cut this at three and three quarters by five. I don't know, I felt like the pattern jumped off of the paper a little bit more um, with a wider border. I don't know, it's just, again, it's just something that looked good to me. You do you. And immediately I can tell that I got that a little crooked that's not going to work for such a simple card. I had to make sure I get it just right. Okay, so at this point, then I'm going to burnish it. Looking good. Now, how are we going to put our sentiment down? See, if you put glue back behind this, um, I want to put dimensionals on it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to because I'm trying to make everything so clear. So I think it's going to have to just like hang out. Oh goodness. And the ribbon is back behind the window. The ribbon was on the window. You guys, I'm so sorry. Let's see if we can make it work. So this is the ribbon we have that would match just wonderfully. This is, um, vanilla ribbon with a gold, uh, gold threading on the outsides. It's beautiful. This is something that just retired, but it's still, I'm going to use it because it's really pretty. It's petal pink with, uh, I believe it was champagne. Oh, look at it. It breaks my heart. It's so beautiful. You can color this ribbon though with our blends and make any color you want. So you should always have this ribbon on hand. We also have it in white with silver metallic thread. And you should have that on hand too, because sometimes you want silver and sometimes you want gold. But like I said, I am going to this one time use this. You might be able to get this on a closeout. I don't know. But in any case, it's beautiful. I think I'm going to do this. Sometimes I hide the ribbon back behind, which is really was going to be my plan. I hide the ribbon back behind the first layer of DSP. But that's all right. It's still, it's such pretty ribbon that it'll probably be nice to see it on the inside as well. There's no wrong way to do this. Sometimes I cut this separately and then tie the bow. And I think I will do that. I've been kind of stuck on doing that. So I wanna kind of just see how much I need. And I think having this as really being like the only thing that's not the exact same color, I could probably uh, make a Rococo Rose ribbon. I'm kind of thinking I should stick with this to make the same color. You know what? Let's take a look. We have time. You're not going anywhere, are you? Okay, I didn't think so. Let's look. Yeah. Let's look at this. This is a dark Rococo Rose stamp and blend. And this is that ribbon with gold. If this works, it might even be prettier. So you just, I use the brush tip and I like to use the dark. Wow. And let's just see, and it's, it's dry almost immediately because it's an alcohol based marker. Oh, I don't know about that. Let's try the light. Normally, the dark doesn't come off that dark. Let's try the light before we make a final decision, right? About, oh, it's about the only ribbon you use. I know, Leslie, right? It is kind of silly. Um, it's always handy and it's always just the color you want. Oh, well, look, we have a winner. We have a winner. I think I've just changed my mind. And I can say this. 
for my Eiffel Tower cards for that set, which is also retired, but I still have it in my stash. One of the few that I will not be getting rid of. Yes, I know, I can sponge liquid glue on the vellum. Ugh, I think it's so messy though, Amy. Will you come and do it for me and then clean up after? Come on. <laughs> Uh, where are my scissors? Where did those jump off to? Okay, I want to cut the dark part off. Okay. Now, so let's make more. Now that we're in love with it, let's make more. So I'm using the light cocoa rose. See, it comes up as very pinky, but then it does dry a little bit darker, right? Fun. Oh, I love this. This is so fun. Just don't go too fast and color on your card. I know, Amy. I would love for you to come and craft with me also. Dang it. Why can't we all live in the same neighborhood? That would be fun. Just stampers. Well, gardeners too. I mean, you know. But we would all stamp. That would be the common thread. I'd probably lose my job, quite frankly. <laughs> I don't know if that would be a good thing now that I'm thinking about it. They'd be like, uh, you have no more sick days. Get into work. <laughs> oh, I like. That's so pretty. And it is because I fully saturated it. So it does take a minute, but I don't think it's going to bleed on the paper. And if it does, it's Rococo Rose. Okay. So again... As I was saying, I'm just going to cut a little bit of this. Ooh, I'm catching the fumes off that. Do that in a well-ventilated area, please. I want to make that look nice. I'm going to glue this down with glue dots. Kind of hide it back behind this. Yes. Let's see here. Where my glue dots run off to? I'm going to put one on each end, and that should be enough. It kind of puckers the ribbon a little bit when you put it on in the middle, sometimes, depending on the ribbon. So I don't want to glue this on the back. I don't want to see it, right? So that's why I'm going to hide it where the sentiment is going to be. So I am going to glue it right there. Bring this over. And you don't want to cut it so short that the ends meet. That looks, that draws attention to it. You just want to like cut it on the bias there and overlap it just a bit. And then when you look at it on the inside, it looks like a continuous piece of ribbon. Okay. All right. And then this. Oh, so we're already going to see the ribbon. Let me see. Amy Todd. Well, I'm going to have to put something on it because now I have ribbon running back behind it. Right? I don't think I can do that. We need to have clear glue dots is what we need. Or clear dimensionals. Can somebody invent that, please? Let's have some clear dimensionals. All right. Amy Todd's going to come down and clean this up for me. I'm going to use the silicone pad, which was my free giveaway with minimum purchase last month. I'll have you know. I can't wait to send them out and make people converts. The silicone mat is so handy. I'm not using a piece that's inked. Okay, I'm just using... Um, and then we're going to just sponge this on here. And then, let me see, did I get, yeah, okay. And this can just be washed or really the glue just kind of rolls off of it. I'm gonna throw that sponge away because I have more where that came from. And they're a gluey mess. It's a gluey mess now. I kind of like seeing the ribbon through there. All right, Amy was right. Amy's always right. Look at that, isn't this being pretty? So pretty, I'm so glad it's gonna go to a girl. I don't know who exactly, but a girl needs 
this. Definitely. Okay, now I think this is long enough. I will be very mad at myself if I've cut this off and then I need to cut it again. But I want to do just a little cinch of ribbon on the side. So now, when you do it like this, you can place your little bow or whatever you're going to do um, exactly where you want it. Whereas when you're tying it, eh, you kind of get it close and then lots of times, when I do it anyway, I end up putting the sentiment not exactly where I want it. This way, it's just, it's workable. It's so much more workable, especially because I don't have three hands. Gosh, if I had three hands, I would be so handy. Oh God, I didn't even mean to say that. That was a terrible dad joke, wasn't it? I'd be so handy, but it's true. Three hands for crafting would rock it. Okay, cutting on the bias again because that's what I do, right? Jen even calls that the Lisa Harden cut. <laughs> okay, finally, we are going to add some of these beautiful, clear, 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 um, little gems. What are they called again? Yeah, flowers for every season. Okay. Oh, good, Carla. Yes, Carla's one of the silicone mat earners. So pretty fun. You will like it. You'll be like, oh, where have you been all my life? Okay, I'm going to use the putty end of our cute little TYP tool. Take your pick tool. There are a couple of, at least a couple of different sizes. Let's check this out first and see if this works. And in the meantime, you can look at the host code in case that gives you a a message, right? And then at night, as you're going to sleep, you're thinking, must shop with Lisa. <laughs> must shop with Stamping Zoo. Got to do it. Oh, so pretty. Now, once I get this kind of glued and held on, I'm going to bring this up and you're going to see that unlike the clear epoxy drops, which like I said, I love, um, you can see the paper right through these. It's so fun, right? So again, just kind of digging through there. If you need to turn them over, you can turn them over with the pokey tool. That's its official name, y'all. actually called a paper piercing tool. They call it the pokey tool so you don't pokey your eye out, right? Just keep that in mind. Now I'm going to grab one of this little baby one. This is why I'm using the fine tip glue pen. Look at it. It's like a surgeon's. If a surgeon used glue, he would use this glue. And then I'll show you how I close it. I close it similarly to how I close my super glue when I need it for my nails. Because when I need it, I need it. I'm not going to be running around with no janky nail. So then I tap it down, let gravity do some work for me. And then this is what's in there. A little pen, another little pen. I put my finger right here to guide that thing. Otherwise, it's all over the place. And then you push it down into there, screw on the lid, put it face up into something. <laughs> oh gosh, these are so fun. I'm kind of in love with this. I think I'm going to make like another 10 of these cards. While we're waiting for that to dry, let me show you this one thing though. Let me grab some Sahara sand. Um, or as my... Let me make sure that's the color. Uh, I'm doubting that right now. What is it? Yeah, Sahara sand. Okay, forget what I said. Um, Sahara sand, if you're fancy Australian, right? Sahara sand. <laughs> Come on, dum dum. We just say Sahara sand in the West. We're not fancy at all. Oh, thank you, Amy. I love that. If you love it, you can give me some hearts and then other people will love it. 
Oh, look at that. Wouldn't this make like a beautiful wedding card? This on Sahara sand, or we're gonna call it Sahara sand because that's how fancy it is. I'm in love with it. I'm gonna make some thank you cards that look just like this, send them out, and now I want you to see just this tiniest bit of bling that's on there. Can you guys see that? See how it shine, the paper shines right through it. You see nothing but the paper. And then I will be putting an insert. Let me grab what I think I'm gonna put in there. And you guys can tell me yes or no. Let's see here. I think, I think we might be using Blushing Bride. Oh yes, is that so beautiful? I love it, let me grab this. Now, if you just can't get enough of this paper, you can find this paper in that uh, January to June mini catalog I was talking about, and you're gonna love it. There are so many other papers in there that sometimes it gets a little confusing, but as you may already know, I am providing something for people right now that might help you make sense of all this beautifulness. So I, I'm selling paper sampler kits and this is what they will look like and you can watch my video from last night if you want to see what the, what little bit of assembly there is basically you just cut this piece of paper into a rectangle glue it and then on the back side you glue the solid colors so <clears throat> these tell you the name of the paper the colors that are used in the paper the item number should you want to order more and um, then it gives you a sample of each of the papers in the package so I have put together a full set uh, for all papers that that lend themselves to this kind of a sampler you get eight of them from the January to June mini catalog and then I'm throwing in three from the celebration catalog. So like this is a beautiful pack of celebration paper. We're gonna work with this paper tomorrow night. This paper you can earn as well. And then look at all the beautiful colors that it uses. Yes, I punched out all of those circles. So anyway, if you would like to purchase this kit, which includes all of these, and I send them to you in the mail, uh, the price is $17.50. You can find that in last night's video. The link is right at the top. Or better yet, um, if you follow me or if you if you subscribe to my email, uh, I've sent it out a couple of times, but if you don't subscribe to my email, please subscribe to my email. Oh my goodness, I would love to have you subscribe to my email. That's where you find out all about my classes, about specials, might get some freebie hints in there sometimes, I might give away things that are only for my email subscribers, so... Can we just take a look at these cards? Because, you know, I like them. I think they're very pretty. Here is something that uses the new DSP and a um, stamp set and dies from the annual catalog. And here's something that uses a celebration stamp set that you can earn. And I am telling you what, this is good value for, well, first of all, it's free, essentially. But I mean, there's a lot in this stamp set that you get for um, for placing an order for $100. So please think about this. This stamp set will be available on the 5th or available now if you're a demonstrator. And of course, you can buy all these products. Um, well, except for the paper, you can buy them now. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys had as much fun with that as I did. And guess what? You're gonna get me tomorrow. If you want to find me tomorrow, just look right back here at seven o'clock mountain and I will be here. And we are gonna work with just a little hint. I think I told you I was gonna tell you. So let me tell you. Oh, I am dying to work with this. Dying. I can't wait. We're gonna be working with Berry Blessings, Sweet Strawberry, and this Punch. Get out of town. And then we will have, of course, 
We'll also have lots of opportunity to look at our beautiful paper. Oh man, look at that. Okay, everybody. Thanks. What a wonderful Wednesday night. Maybe I'll start doing this more often. And uh, in the meantime, though, everybody have a good night. And um, Kathy Strang, happy birthday again. Maybe you need another late night piece of cheesecake. And I'll see all of you tomorrow. Thank you so much.